Hey guys, another video about you can do it. So I'm working again on the 2011 Buick LaCrosse CXL and I'm gonna be swapping out the axle. Um, there's significant vibration, so I think there's play in the axle, um, the CV axle on the driver's side. So I've already started. I just wanna show you what, what you have to do. Uh, got the wheel off, um, yeah, pretty easy. Then what we did is uh, this speed sensor right here. Um, I took this off. The only thing that holds this is a 10 millimeter bolt. And you know, a few clips again, and that is right here. Here's another video where I installed it. Again, it goes right there in that hole. Um, so again, just a 10 millimeter bolt, that was easy. And then we have right here, in here, a 32 millimeter, um axle nut and this is usually the, the the hardest thing to remove but you know with a uh impact it was pretty easy you know took that out and now i'm going to turn the wheel and we're gonna try to get the knuckle and the lower control arm separated to remove the axle boot all right guys so again working on the driver's side and I'm gonna remove this little clip here that was a connector to hold the speed sensor. I'm just gonna pop that out with the pliar. There you go, wiggle that around, comes out, and then I'm gonna tap in there a little with a screwdriver and a hammer, try to make a little room, and try to separate the control arm, hit that with the hammer, um, see if I can pull it out, pull it down. Right there, we're gonna hold it from this side and I'm gonna open it with my impact wrench from the other side. So we're gonna remove that before we try to take the lower control arm off. All right guys, I took that 50 millimeter. Yeah, that's how big it is. And uh, hopefully now we can you know, go into that area with a little screwdriver, pound it in and hit the control arm to remove the axle. Separated a little and just using a pry bar. And then I try to, there you go. Got it separated. And I'm gonna try to move the axle on the, I mean the axle. All right, guys. I'm back. I couldn't get this stuff moving, so I'm taking out these two 18 millimeter bolts. Um, put this, and now maybe this would be a little easier to move. So let me try that. All right, guys, let me show you what's happening. I got this part off and trying to get that out. Just moving the entire brake system and the assembly for the top out. Hammered in the axle from there. And as you can see, it's coming out. Sorry, guys. Got that basically all out. See the washer there. Um, again, what I did is I, I hammered from the front, you know, the axle nut and moved this around. Um, and as you can see, it's almost out. So just gotta move the the housing forward. This entire thing in the, in the XL boot will pop out. Guys, got this out. And uh, I'm gonna try to get that side out. Uh, you know, I gotta use a crowbar on the other side or something to remove it from the transaxle, from the transmission side. Hey guys, I'm back. And I'm gonna remove the transmission side. So, what I did is I took my pry bar right there and hammered this side and got the sucker loose. Um, there you go. And I should have done that very carefully. And you see all that oil leaking? That's why you want to have a drain bucket right there. Okay, big mess guys. But you want to check that seal when you're there, just to make sure, you know, um, that's not deteriorated or damaged. 
Oh, right there. And yeah, I'm gonna take a close look. You know, since you're there, you might as well let's do it. All right, guys. While well, that oil continues to drip, let me show you. You see? This is what's happening. I was getting significant vibration. And you can, you know, the the side that goes into the transmission is it's very wobbly. As is this side, but it shouldn't be that wobbly. It's going to wobble a little, but there's going to be some play. Let me just show you, excuse my mess here, the new part. You know, it's not that wobbly. Hello guys, how much transmission fluid leaks? So it's a pretty significant amount. So we can see our transmission is, fluid is very good, all red. Didn't see any um, metallic particles. So that's a positive. All right guys, I took my old CV axle. I took out the clamp that was holding the boot and push this back, covered with grease, which is a good thing and it's not rusty, so there's no moisture getting in. And, um, you know, I didn't see any excessive play. It's the same amount of play left and right, up and down as the, as the new one. So now I'm having second thoughts. Uh, let me, I, I looked at the other side too, but you know, when I did buy this car, they said it had an issue with the axle, axle damage. And I'm getting a lot of vibration. You know, my control arm bushings are fine. Um, everything else looks good and we changed the tie rod. Uh, so maybe it was the axle. All right, guys, I think it, it, it actually is the axle because when I move it this way, horizontally, you hear a click, click noise. I mean, it's hard for me to try to do this with, you know, one hand. But you will hear it. That should not be happening. Just to show you. All right, guys, one thing I wanted to show you is on the old CV axle, I had this clamp. The new one didn't have this, so you know, just pop this out with a screwdriver, and this comes out, and we're gonna put it right here on the on the new one, um, right here on this side. Let me take this. Let me do that right now. All right, guys, I put the coupling on the new part, hammered this in, and so we got no gap right there. Now we're just gonna slide this into the transmission side. All right, guys, we got the uh, CV axle boot in there, and you know, you're just gonna have to feel this and try to push and align it. Um, it's, it'll go in then. All right, guys, this is pretty easy. You just gotta maneuver it, and it'll go in and slide in, and you just push it, and you, as you can see, there's no gap there. So that's as far as it's gonna go. And now we're gonna put, I'm gonna actually put this piece back on here. Um, and then we're gonna put the front of the CV axle back into the hole right there. All right guys, we slided this other end of the axle in the front. And now we're gonna put this uh, control arm back on. Um, and uh, I'm gonna need two hands for this. All right, guys, I'm back here. Finally got the lower control arm back in there. As you can see, I beat the crap out of it for some reason. It wouldn't align. And this took, this is the longest it's ever taken me to do this. This should literally be like a five minute process. It took over an hour and a half. Well, unbelievable. joint back on 15 millimeter let me uh just put this back on you know use my uh impact and uh you know hold this bolt from the other side all right guys i got the tight rod bolt back on we didn't really remove the tie rod so now i'm just gonna go 
put the speed sensor back in. I'm gonna connect the two bolts, the two clips, I mean, one right there, one right there, and put it back right there. All right, guys, we got everything back in there, the speed sensor, the, these bolts are all tied in. I actually checked the link, that's tight. Got the axle in there, we tied in the nut, the axle nut, we tied in the tie rod nut, we tied in the ball joint nut. And I'm gonna take some brake clean and clean out all the transmission fluid that's fell. And then later on, we're gonna fill the car up with tra new transmission fluid. And we're gonna get an alignment and uh, we should be good to go. All right, guys, we're just gonna put the wheel back on and clean up and uh, wrap this one up. So thanks, another video, but you can do it. As you can see, uh, we ran into a, a few problems here, but we're still able to figure it out. All right, guys, take it easy.